This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on audio mixing inside Adobe Audition CS6. In this excerpt, we look at how to create a bus and apply a special effect called the hard limiter. Well, you know, I still have this problem with Dr. Surf not being loud enough. He's just not punching through. I really need to have him cut across all the sound effects and cut across all the, all the music. I want to make sure that we can hear him. So we're going to create three submixes. Well, we'll create a submix for dialogue, a submix for effects, and a submix for music. These three submixes are called stems. And a stem is a single stereo pair that contains all of your dialogue. A stem is a stereo pair that contains all of your effects. And the third stem is a stereo pair that contains all of your music. We do this with a process called buses. So we go up to the multi-track menu, go down to track, and I'm going to insert a stereo bus track. A bus is a pathway that goes from each individual channel strip to the final master, which is over here. And it, notice it says bus A, so I'm going to call this stem dialog. And I think I can do this if I click, hold, and drag. Yeah, I can drag the stem over to here. So this is the dialog stem. Then we'll add another one, and we'll call this stem effects. We'll call it EFX. And then we'll add a third stem. Let's just make that a little bit smaller here. And go to a third stem, track, stereo bus. And we'll call this stem uh, music. Okay. So now I've got these three buses, these three collectors that can collect all the audio from all these different tracks. Here's where you send it. This says where your source is coming from. This is where your send is going, where your output's going to go. So I'm going to click on this master, and I'm going to send it to dialog stem. So all of my Dr. Surf dialog is now going here. As I play this, assets that are already out there from an earlier mission. Notice how I've got bouncing meters on Dr. Surf's track, or tracks, if I had multiple speakers, and they would all show up as a single location here as a dialogue stem. We can use them because... Now here's the reason this is cool. I can now select the bus and apply a single filter to the bus that would then affect all of my dialogue, and that's where the hard limiter comes in. Select the stem, which is what I've done by clicking on it, Click on the right pointing arrow and go to Amplitude and Compression. If I'm doing music, I'm going to be working with a compressor because compressors do a really nice job with music. But for human speech, I really like the hard limiter. The hard limiter says I'm going to limit the maximum volume of all of your audio. It will never exceed negative 3 dB. And I'm going to boost the gain of this by whatever number you specify. Well, I want to boost it, and I generally am boosting, you know, it varies on a clip-by-clip -clip basis, but anywhere from 2 dB to 6 dB. What I'm doing is I'm watching the limiter to see that my audio levels are bouncing right around the point that I want. Leave the look ahead to 7 milliseconds, leave the release to 100. When I'm using the hard limiter, I'm either limiting to negative 3 or to negative 4.5, and I'm generally limiting to negative 3 inside Audition. And the input boost is what I vary. If the audio that you're working with is very, very soft, you're going to increase this number. If the audio you're working with is loud, you're going to make the number softer. So let's just solo Dr. Surf and listen to it. So the standardization. We have now a set of standards for this. We're hoping, we being JPL, are hoping to have... Look at that. Although he's peaking every so often, he's hitting as high as negative 3. The bulk of his conversation, let me just make this easier to read, the bulk of his conversation is between negative 6 and negative 12. The Mars orbiter in orbit around Mars around 2009 to support missions for the next decade. So what we've done is we've amplified the softest passages of his audio more than we've amplified the loudest passages. Now on my website I've got a lot of discussion about limiters. If you just go to LarryJordan.biz, type in, search for limiter, you'll see a bunch of articles that talk about this. A limiter inside soundtrack works the same way that a limiter does inside Audition. And this is a great way to make all of your talking head audio get perceptibly louder without ever distorting. 
Now, you don't apply limiters to sound effects. You definitely don't apply limiters to music. But whenever I'm working with amateur speakers, and that's most of the people that I interview, I'm always applying a limiter to get the volume that I want out of their voice so that the soft doesn't get so soft you can't hear it. So that's the first thing that I want to do. Second thing I want to do is I want to route all of my effects to this one setting here. So I'm going to go to, let's see, I've got set that to bus effects, set this to bus effects, and set my third sound effect to bus effects. And now I could easily fade up or down all of my effects by grabbing this one fader and drag it up and down. By the way, to change it back to zero, you could just click on the number and type in the value that you want. Same thing with music. I'm going to go to music. I'm going to send that to the music stem. And now all of my dialogue comes off here. All of my effects come off here. All of my music come off here. And those three submixes go to the master, which is down here. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on audio mixing using Adobe Audition. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 84.